Trust and has a very good sense of smell and hearing. However, the black rhino also has poor eyesight, which makes it susceptible to poaching. At the Sierra Community Conservancy in the county of Samburu, this rare species found in eastern and southern Africa has found a safe haven. KTN's George Maringa was in Samburu, now tells us the story of what it takes to guard the black rhino as the world marks the World Tourism Day. Samburu County, a land inhabited by about 225,000 people who are mostly nomadic. Within this vast county is a story. Here lies the only first community conservancy in East Africa and likely the whole of Africa to establish a rhino breeding sanctuary, Sarah Wildlife Community Conservancy. Currently, there are only 504 black rhinos in Kenya. This animal is known to be guarded with precision, and usually, the rangers must be armed. But the situation here at Sarah is different. Unarmed and on foot, the rangers track the animal and guide visitors to the conservancy to view wildlife. Wood ash in hand, the rangers take us on a journey across the rhino sanctuary. The wood ash has a unique purpose. Rhinos are good in terms of smelling and they are good in hearing. So they are, have poor eyesight. And uh, whenever we approach the rhino, we don't go kicking the ground, seeing the wind direction. So we just decide to carry this one for wind direction. The rangers have undergone a highly specialized training, equipping them with rhino sighting skills that come in handy not only when tracking the rhino, but also when guiding visitors around the conservancy. A few kilometers further inside, we find Loijipu, a male baby rhino. Step by step, he takes a stroll with two rhino watchers and keepers to his resting place. He was the first black rhino to be born in a community conservancy in Kenya. At just one year and eight months, Loijipu is being reintroduced back into the wild after falling out with his mother at just two days old. And it's just one of the conservation measures that integrate the community. This latest member of the rhino sanctuary was rescued and spent one and a half years being raised by local Samburu keepers and was released back into his home community conservancy on 6th June. The joint operation between Kenya Wildlife Service and the Northern Rangers Trust took over 12 hours to complete. This just shows how delicate this precious animal that can grow up to 1.8 meters is. We have been supported by Kenya police uh, through the um, the rangers. So most of our rangers are natural police reserve. In 2001, local Samburu communities formed the Sera Wildlife Conservancy with the aim of bringing together three historically rival ethnic groups to ensure conservation and sustainable use of natural resources in their traditional lands. Sarah Rhino Sanctuary was established in 2015 and is now home to 14 black rhinos. However, running a community conservancy of this magnitude has come with its fair share of challenges. In initial stages, it was not good, but uh, through capacity building awareness, it has been and also people saw some tangible services from the, from the conservancy. Establishing a breeding rhino sanctuary is not a cheap um, exercise. It takes a lot of um, time, like uh, the Sarah Sanctuary uh, took close to seven years just to establish to where it is now. The community has not only benefited from employment but from tourism. Both local and international tourists come to watch these precious animals at close range rather than on vehicles as is the norm. Kenya, the hub of tourism, is home to some of the indigenous species globally. The gestation period of the black rhino is one year and four months. Therefore, patience in increasing the rhino population is key. And as the world marks the World Tourism Day, efforts such as community conservation will go a long way into restoring the population of the black rhino. George Maringa, KTN News, at the Sarah Community Conservancy in Samburu County.